Thank you all so much for coming out this morning. Let's take a moment to find that lengthening through our body, stretching out those toes long, fingertips up overhead, filling up that breath, and maybe a heavy sigh. You can draw those knees in towards your chest, rocking from side to side. You can circle through the ankles, maybe through the knees. Just see how the body's feeling this morning before we get straight into our eight minute bridge, bridge set. Bring those soles of the feet down on the mat, parallel to one another and hips distance apart. And we'll send those hips high and lower just to a few centimeters up off the mat. Squeeze at the top, lower to a hover. Find that sharp exhale as you lengthen the tailbone. So that exhale helps tone the core and support that lift through the backs of the legs. Keep going. Squeeze and hover. As the tension starts to build through the back body, just notice that you're not clenching through the jaw. Really focusing on that back body strengthening. And let's take these slow hip lifts and lowers for five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, stay lifted with your hips, heels go up and down. So finding that maximum height through the hips towards the ceiling and simply lifting and lowering your heels. Yeah, if you need to walk your toes a little closer and towards your torso, that may give you a little more lift through the hips. Yeah, it looks great this morning. Keep going. Again, strong through the belly with that sharp exhale and tailbone lengthening towards the front end of your mat. And we'll take our heel lifts and lowers for five, four, three, two, one. Stay super high on your tippy toes, double time your pace and pulse it up here. So you're not lowering those hips too much, just a very narrow band of movement, squeezing the whole time. Again, adjust your feet if it helps to walk them closer to your torso and pulse, 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 pulse. Even though the heat is building, stay committed to this lifting. Yeah, that's it. Nice work. Keep going. That's it, Johnny. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Soften through your face. Oh, yeah. And let's finish up these fast paced parallel feet bridges in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Take a little break. Hug those knees in towards your chest, rocking from side to side. Second set of bridges, wide legged, turning those toes out. Heels are still just beyond distance of the hips and slow pace to begin with. Lifting and hovering. Squeeze and lower. Not dropping those hips too fast, working the negative here. Targeting the glute lead and inner thighs. Squeeze and hover, you got it. Long through the tail. That's it, Dan, nice work. Squeeze and lower. Right back into it, Seth. You got it. Really grounding down through those feet to find that lifting of the hips as you engage the whole backside. Three, two, one. Stay lifted through your hips. Heels go up and down. Again, adjust your feet so you can maximize the height through the hips. 
simply lifting and lowering those heels while you stay engaged. Long through the tail, soften through the jaw. That's it, Richard, you got it, keep going. Really feeling it this morning. You got it. Nice work, Nicole. And we'll take these for five, four, three, two, one. High on your tippy toes. Double time your pace. Go from your highest position of lifting and then pulse from there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Strong through your exhale, so you find that engagement of your bellies. Looks great. Nice work, Nancy. Keep going, keep going. Ooh. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Everything should be firing. And let's finish up these fast paced wide legged bridges in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down, hug those knees in towards your chest, rocking from side to side. Last set of bridges, bringing the soles of the feet together for our butterfly bridges. Knees are winging out wide. And begin, slow pace to begin. Lengthening through the tailbone here, strong through your abs. Try not to check out as it's our last set. You got it. Squeeze and hover. We'll take these slow paced butterfly bridges for five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted and pulse from here. We're in the home stretch of our bridge work. Stay strong through the backside. Very, very small movements as you really stay lifted. Keep going, keep going. And let's finish up our butterfly bridges in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower it down, hug those knees in. Well done. Oh, yeah. We'll come on to our right side forearm. Setting up for our planks. One minute hold on this right side, but at the 30 second mark, let's just add the scoop under for today. And here we go. Pressing into that right side forearm, left foot stacks in front, heels, hips, and shoulders are all in one line. You're really feeling that right side waist lift away from the floor. So good. Arming up that right side oblique, maybe a little more energy through the left fingertips reaching higher, not collapsing in that right side shoulder. Drop down to that right knee if you need to. Otherwise, join me in the scoop under. Maintaining the height through the hips as we add the rotation. Nice work, keep going. Looks so strong this morning. That's awesome. Good work, Sap. Let's take these for five, four, three, two, one. Onto our bellies. We'll do our back extension. 
with our penguins. Bend up through the knees. Heels click behind you. Lift the thighs, lift the chest. And 30 seconds of taking your hands to reach down the sides of your legs. So some sneaky glute engagement, hamstring engagement, really trying to firm up those muscles along the spine. Yeah, nice lift through the chest. Three, two, one. Setting up for our 90 second forearm plank hold. Clock is on, here we go. So separating your feet from one another so you give some spaciousness to the lower back. Think about your legs here as you press the heels away, firm up through the quads and cinch up through your full center here. Press into your forearms so you're not collapsing through the shoulders. And soften through the jaw, allow that breath to help support this hold. If you need any modification, you can drop down to your knees. We're at the halfway mark, keep going, looks so good. And you lengthen the tailbone, pressing those heels back away. Last 30 seconds. Nice work, you guys. That's it, Nicole. So strong. We're definitely almost there, guys. <laughs> We've got five, four, three, two, one. Come on down to our bellies. 30 seconds back extension work. Find those penguins again. Taking it from side to side, maybe a little more lift through the chest, allowing those fingertips to lengthen. Nice work, Dan, you got it, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll finish up our planks with that left forearm down, right foot stacking in front. And here we go. Fingertips reaching high, pressing away from that left side shoulder as you really dome through the side waist here. Yeah, nice height through those hips, awesome. And let's add that scoop under. Here we go, 30 seconds. Notice where that right hip is in space. Try and keep it level, stacking on top of the left hip. Yeah, that's it, Nancy, nice. Last five seconds. And we are done. Well done, guys. <laughs> Let us set up for our core work. So we got four exercises today. The first one is uh, reverse bikes. I forgot about these. We haven't done these in a while. So you're reaching your arms long, your toes long. You can keep your whole back body down to begin. And then just almost like you're providing a little stir up hooking behind the foot. A little more work would be to stay from a lifted position as you extend and come back to your reverse leg. Yeah. We'll take jack knives first on the right side down, check mark through the body. Your right arm is extended out long, and then you draw your knees in towards your chest as you cinch through the left side waist. You can also add straight legs if you like. We'll catch the second side for our third round. And then up and down flutter kicks. Two ways to do this. 
You can lie on your back, chin to chest, and the legs go all the way up as you cross them over and then come down to a hover. Or if that seems a little too much under tension, you might see how it feels on your forearms. So two variations of flutter kicks, depending on how it feels through the front body, nothing through the back body. Reverse bikes to start. So lying long on your backs, arms reach up overhead, toes are long in front, and you decide if you're covering your whole body or lying back down. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Here we go. Let's do this. Find that strong exhale as you connect to center. Sending those limbs away from each other in between sides. Yeah, looks so good. That's it, Dan. Three, two, one, change. Take a 10 second break, but also a little setup for a jackknife. Right arm comes out perpendicular to your mat. Three, two, one, here we go. So you press up onto your forearm, but really the work is aimed at that left side waist. Again, you can straighten the legs if you want a little more work. And you can also alternate knees bent and legs straight. Yeah, that's it, Nicole. Awesome. Change. We'll swap on over. So it's the left arm that extends long. Find that check mark shape through the body, shrinking that right side waist. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, that strong exhale to help you lift and work. The right side, yeah, awesome side. Keep going. You don't have to work these too fast. They kind of sneak up on you. Three, two, one, change. We'll finish up with our up and down flutter kicks, either on your forearms or lying back, arms alongside. Here we go. So time under tension if you tuck your chin towards your chest. Nothing through the lower back. So keep those legs nice and straight. Yeah, so good. Nice. That looks so good. Keep going, Richard. Awesome work. Three, two, one, change. First round done. Three more to go. Back to the top with your reverse bikes. Arms reach up overhead. Three, two, one, go. So these might be a little slower just so you can really feel that front body engage to support the lengthening of the limbs. Ooh, three, two, one, change. Jack knives, right arm extends long. Legs at a 45 degree angle. Here we go. Pressing into that right Elbow to get a little lift. Yeah, that's it. So you're almost working slowly here to really feel the lift in the lower. Three, two, one, change. We'll touch the left forearm down. Check mark through the legs. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, either bent knees or straight legs or alternating to the side. Strong exhale, really targeting that right side waist here. Yeah, that's a Johnny. Nice. Three, two, one, change. Flutter kicks either on your backs or if you want to change it up, you can see how it feels on your forearms. Still hard work. Three, two, one. Let's go. So those legs travel in space thanks to your strong support through those abs. Yeah, it looks great. Awesome, Phil. Good scissoring. Inner thighs working. Three, two, one, change. Good work. Back to the top, reverse bikes. Three, two, one, let's go. Stay connected to that strong exhale. Yeah, nice work, you got it. Three, 
two, one, change. Jack knives, right side. Three, two, one, here we go. Yeah, fantastic. Maybe the pace quickens as you kind of get the pattern down. Fantastic, Nancy, you got it. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, three, two, one, change. Swap on over, left side. Three, two, one, let's go. Now it's quick recovery there. Checking out how it feels to bend or straighten those legs. Sorry, getting that right side waist. It's so good, Nicole. Three, two, one, change. Finishing out with our flutter kicks. Either on your forearms or lying back. Chin tucking the chest. Three, two, one. Here we go. Strong for your bellies, guys. Nothing for your lower back. So make those modifications of the arms that suits you. Yeah, so good. Three, two, one. Change. Good work. Last round of abs. Reverse bites to the top. Three, two, one, here we go. Work strong, work safely. Yeah, so good, you got it. Use that strong exhale. Three, two, one, oh, change. I can totally hear you collapsing, Steve. <laughs> right, pour on down. Jack might be the body. Here we go. Keep going. Last side on this left side to shrink that left side opening. Good work. Three, two, one, change. Left side jack nice. Three, two, one, here we go, guys. Yeah, so nice. Maybe the pace quickens, maybe you slow down. That's it, feel nice. Yeah, three, two, one, change. Last that we have to do is our flutter face. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice extension through the legs. You got it, keep going. Scissoring those legs, committing to your front body. Yeah. Three, two, one, change. Kind of came out of that one early. <laughs> Good work, everyone. <sighs> All right, so setting up now for our standing work. We are gonna start with a squat elbow to knee, but it's gonna be the same side. So we come low in our squat and then same elbow, tap, same side knee. Coming through the squat each time and once again, getting a little bit of that side body work. Our upper body work today is going to be shoulder tap press ups. You can also do straight up press ups if you like. Find yourself in a plank and tap opposite shoulder, opposite shoulder, and then add the press up in between. You can certainly, like I said, come to your knees or modify in any way that you like. Our balance work today is going to be a sprinter lunge. So the left leg is going to stay at the front of the mat. Right fingertips, right toe tips touch down. Then we transfer the weight into the right leg and left knee drives to chest. So right fingertips, right toe tips, left knee to chest. And we take that before our four rounds. We catch the other side in our second set. And then mountain climbers, opposite knee, opposite elbow, as we get that cardio blast. 
So we're starting with our squat elbow to knee. Let's get low on our squats. Three, two, one. Here we go. So there is an opportunity to really strengthen through the leg that's helping us to come to stand. Staying low as we come through the squat. Nice. Fine. Nice little deep work. Yeah. Change. Shoulder tap press ups. Catch your breath in your plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hugging the midline here, taking the rocking out of your body. That's it, Dan. Nice work. Strong through the legs. You got it, Johnny. Three, two, one. Change. Sprinter lunge, just to review, right fingertips down, right toe tips back, left knee to chest. Here we go. So there are a lot of elements here. Let the breath help you move smoothly through these transitions. Connect to your belly. Left knee to chest, so good. Whew. Change, good work. Kind of sneaks up on you, that left side too. And let's go with our mountain climbers. Chance to get that cardio blast. Here we go. Take it at your own pace. Light through the toes. Shoulders are over the wrists. So those hips aren't too high. Yeah, nice pacing, you guys. Keep going. Three, two, one, change. Back to the top, three more rounds. Squat, elbow to knee, same side. Three, two, one. Be honest in the depth of your squat. You're going from a high position to a low position. So make it count. Chest stays lifted, tailbone draws down, and of course, belly is fine. Yeah, that's it, Johnny. Nice. Three, two, one, change. We'll take those shoulder tap press ups for your variation. Three, two, one, here we go. Let those strong legs help you. Let that connection to your belly make you lighter through the body so it's easier to press up. Yeah, nice, Nicole. Whew. Three, two, one, change. Sprinter lunge again, it's the left foot that stays stationary and right fingertips, right toe tips down. Here we go. So find that true low lunge and then that level change to the knee drive. Taking them as fast or as slow as you like. You could certainly make these more cardio if you like. Whew. Change. Mountain climbers, though, is where we'll get that little heart rate spike. Three, two, one, go. So true opposite knee to opposite elbow. It's getting your core engaged. Well, you get that cardio blast. That's it, Nancy. Nice pace and keep going. Three, two, one, change. Two down, two to go. Squat elbows knee. Three, two, one. Let's go. Maybe use your breath, find that depth. Connecting to your sideways as you tap at opposite elbows. Same elbows, the same knee. <laughs> Change. We'll take our press ups. Shoulder taps. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, working intelligently. If you need to come to your knees. Three, two, one. Change. 
Left foot forward. Long through that right leg, right toes, right fingertips down. Here we go. Find a pace that helps support your breath. Feeling each transition. Change, good work. Mountain climbers round three. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, find a pace you can support with your breath. Maybe take it up a notch this now. You got it, that's it, Richard. Three, two, one, change. Back to the top for our very last round on this side. Squat elbow to knee. Here we go. Really nice lifting. And cinching through that side waist. Set the depth through the squats. I love it. That's it, John. Very nice. Woo. Three, two, one, change. Press ups on this side. Shoulder tap. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Phil. Keep going. Three, two, one, change. Spring for lunge, left foot grounding, and then left knee to chest. Three, two, one, here we go. Great depth in those lunges. Really forcing you to get those right fingertips down. So good. Nice, Dan. Whew. Three, two, one, change. Mountain climbers for the last round. Three, two, one, here we go. Find that pace. Dig deep. You got it. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, change. Your breath. Good work on that one. All right, we'll set up for our next set. All right, our squats are going to be a squat curtsy. So you come through your squat and you take a bow as you switch legs, reaching back behind you. You might stay low the whole time, not really coming up out of your squat. For our upper body work, it's going to be a bear walk, but crooked. So you're hovering your tabletop. Your knees are just lifting here. And then you take a sneaky walk to the right, come to center, and a sneaky little tap toe to the left. So walking your bear while staying lifted through the kneecaps, but not too much. <laughs> That's the trick. We'll catch our sprinter lunge on the second side. Left toes reaching back, right knee forward, and then right knee to chest. Wide-legged burpees are gonna round out our cardio on this side. So beginning with our squat curtsies for our first set of four. Here we go. Get low in your squats, guys. Three, two, one, and take your bows. So staying committed to the strength of your legs, the engagement of your belly as you curtsy from side to side. You could also add weights if you wanted maybe a little tricep kickback. Take it or leave it. Change. So our bear walk twists. The spine stays horizontal. So that's the lower belly work and the upper body at the same time. Here we go. So a little walking from side to side. Again, targeting those obliques today. Yeah, looks so good. Knees are not too high off the mat. 
hips are stacked over the knees. Yeah, so good. Change. That kind of sneaks up on your quads too, doesn't it? All right, we'll take our sprinter lunge with the left toes reaching back, left fingertips down. Here we go. So finding these transitions, evening out the breath to help make them more smooth as you shift the balance from one leg to the other. Three, two, one, change. Wide-legged burpees, first round. Jump back, jump wide, squeeze to stand. Here we go. Fantastic, take them out of place. It helps you get that little, little cardio blast. We're avoiding the high impact by not jumping to the top. Super connected to your belly as you land like this. Change. First round done. Back to the top squat curtsies. Three, two, one. Here we go. So good, you guys. Again, adding that arm element to your leg. Nice and cold. Such good depth through the squats, everyone. It's awesome. Three, two, one, change. Bear walk twists, hovering your tabletop. Lower belly, super engaged. Three, two, one. So micro movement here, but still quite effective. Whew. You find that true stacking of the knees under the hips. So the spine stays nice and long. Whew. Change. Spread your lunge, left toes, left fingertips reaching down. Here we go. Transferring that weight, finding that right side knee drive. Keep going. Yeah, nice work, Richard. You got it. Such good extension, guys. Three, two, one, change. Wide leg of burpees, round two. Three, two, one, let's do these, go. Can you land so softly and pop those hips a little? That's thanks to your strong bellies. Yeah, nice work, Tony. Three, two, one, change. Two more rounds to go, squat curses to the top. Catch your breath in your squat, in your, yeah, in your squat. Three, two, one, let's do this. Nice and committed to that work in the legs. Tapping into that lower belly strength as you move these legs from side to side. Three, two, one, change. Let's take our bear walk twists. Cover those kneecaps, toes and touch. Let's do this, go. So not a lot of movement through the lower body. Upper body supporting us. So is that belly. Yeah, Nancy, you got it. Three, two, one, change. Center lunge. Tapping left fingertips, toe tips down. Here we go. Maybe a little deeper in your lunge as you tap into that right leg strength. Yeah, so good. That's it, Phil. Nice work. Three, two, one, change. Wide legged burpees, third round. Three, two, one, go for it, guys. Maybe another round. Maybe the pace quickens as you really tap into that fire in your belly. Yeah, you got it. Keep going, keep going. Nice light landing. So good. 
We have our third. Three, two, one, change. Last set. Squat curtsies. Catch your breath here. Three, two, one, take your bows. Find maybe a little more connection to your breath here as you recover from that cardio blast. Keep going. Three, two, one, change. Ah. Bear walk twist. Cover those knee caps. And let's go. Hug that belly to your spine. Maintain that evenness across your spine so you're not lifting your fists too high. Hips are over the knees. Finishing strong. Three, two, one, change. We'll find our splinter lunge. Left fingertips, left toe touch, reaching. Three, two, one, here we go. Knee to chest. You got it. Nice and smooth, finishing out strong, you guys. I love it. That's it, Nicole, so good. Three, two, one, change. Wide-legged burpees for the last round. Connect to your breath. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, take it at your own pace. Finish strong. There, Richard, you got it. Keep going, keep going. Nice work, Nicole. I love it, Johnny. So good. Three. Oh, no, not three. Sorry. I was excited. Now it's three, two, one, change. Yeah, I jumped the gun on that one. Thank you guys so much. Oh, so motivating. Oh.